Okay, well, here's a box I, of a micrometers I bought a while, a long time ago, over a year ago. I'm just pulling them out, looking them over. It came with five micrometers, but two were the wrong size. It was a, a couple that didn't match the set, so, and you can see the standards. One, this one here is about an inch short. So it looked like a complete set, but uh, it's not correct. We're missing one. And the smallest one doesn't belong. But one of them I polished up, and it turned out pretty good. There's one that I haven't done, and one I have. The front edge is in bad shape. So my plan was to remove some wood and glue a new piece in there. It's the only way to fix that. And the corners, the glue is all coming apart. I think this box is about seven years old, so it's time it needs needs some help. I don't think anyone's ever fixed anything on this box. There's no evidence of any repairs ever done to it. And someone's drilled holes in the lid. Lots of chips in the wood. Little things. Front's in bad shape, so there's no old fix in that. We got to replace that with a new piece of wood. Well, here's what it looks like about, uh, I'm working at this for about 40 minutes now. Polishing the rust off the hinges at the back, which are riveted on. I can't take them off. If they had screws in them, I'd just take them off and do it on the wire wheel or something and paint them and put them back on. But the, uh, the latch on the front here, with the, I think it's nickel plated. Could be chrome, I don't know. It's brass underneath, I think. It turned out really nice. It's got the little logo Lufkin on there. So that's kind of nice. I think that this thing's got to be 70, 80 years old. I'm going to see if I can change that strip of wood. Not sure how I'll do it yet, but the whole thing needs to be re-glued. Lots of little pieces coming apart here. So I'm going to try and get some glue down in these joints. All the four corners, this block of wood here is coming off. And, uh, this big piece is just one screw hole, and I think I'll take it out, clean it all up. Look at the dirt in there. There's a sticker. 25-5-1982. The last time it was calibrated, probably. The bottom's just a piece of pine. So I took the belt sander and I just, you know, I, Took off as much of that grime as I could, try and clean it up. This, I'm telling you, this just smells really old, sanding it. And I'm glad I'm doing it outside, because this stuff floating around the house. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so i got to hurry up. Uh, I'm going to blow it all off the compressor. All right, well, this is what I've done, is I took a router and routed off just the thickness of that edge. And I left this board here to glue to. But the piece glued on, I just took the clamps off and I brought it outside. It's been a couple of days. I didn't work on this yesterday. It was uh, it was a run around day. We ran around, did all kinds of stuff. Okay, check that out. <laughs> How many clamps can you put on one little piece of a little wooden box? Yeah, we had a little setback. I had to mill off the old board that was here. Uh, because when I glued these bottom corners together down here, it just, the latch wasn't lining up anymore, which is not really what I wanted. So, so I did that. Milled it off. Used the router and routed the board that I glued on right off. Cut a new one. And now I've got it clamped. So it's as straight as I can get. It's still off a little bit, but... I'm going to have to live with it, and uh, when that's dry, it should be a lot better, I hope. Yep, yeah, I'm going to have some sanding to do. It is all sanded, it's about 20 minutes of sanding, and it looks great, I think. It's really, really nice and flat and level and flush. And the, the lid is opening and closing beautifully now. I sanded the inside. I went a little further than I planned to. And I glued this. This was in two pieces. I glued it up. 
two screws up come up from the bottom and hold that in place. Yeah, pretty nice. And then the inside I sanded, I sanded all, you know, everything except for the inside of the lid. Around the edges here and this, uh, it's a pretty nice finish there, so. I still might actually sand that and put a little clear coat on there because you can see the rivets that hold the hinges on. Lots of chips and nicks in it, but that's going to stay like that. It's okay. Even the holes, I'm not going to fill them or anything. I'm just going to leave it like that character. Okay, we're at the point where we can put some uh, some finish on here. I got some latex black paint. The lighting down here is terrible, but not much I can do about it. It's still kind of cold outside. It was uh, around zero. It was about 32, 33 degrees Fahrenheit last night. Zero or my or plus one Celsius. It was hovering around there. So I still can't do anything in the unheated shop like this. tell you this is a fairly good match now man it's just blending right in there I like it okay I'm doing one of the last steps on this old box we're putting the stain on it's just looking pretty fantastic and this is done Not bad. Okay, so we're almost finished this box. I'd say we are done, but uh, there's always something more you can do because I really find this ugly up here. So my plan is to you know, glue something on there like that. Found some antique paper we had. My wife likes this stuff, so so that's that's what we're gonna do. And you can see the uh, clearly see all the sizes. That's where we're at, and it's really coming along nicely. And that doesn't that a beautiful logo? Yeah. Look at the size of that guy. <laughs> Huge. So this project, this refinishing of the box is finished. All done, wrapped up. I gotta put that on there. Some two-sided tape. And uh, maybe some new felt one day. And this this board this board's gotta be either tacked or glued or something. I'll probably put a blob of glue in there. And I've got the standards. I gotta find a nine to ten inch. It didn't come. I have everything else but that one. And I gotta go clean them up too and put them in. Put them in here. They're stored away somewhere else for now. Thanks for watching.